day, people! This is Sharpino here, welcome you guys to episode number 6 of the Pokemon Light Platinum Nuzlocke. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you like find down below for us, because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode, you guys, it has been a while, I do apologise, a lot of things are happening around the house, so I really couldn't have the chance to record. And other news, back to the series, um, we did unfortunately lose another member to basically me not paying attention and hitting the speeder button a little bit too quickly. Um, in other news, we do have some gift Pokemon that we got in the last episode, and now we do have some more Pokemon to, to get. As you guys saw during the break, I got ourselves the Miltank and I got ourselves the Cyndaquil. Now, I'll explain the Cyndaquil. The Cyndaquil, I looked it up, and... If you go back to Central City, basically, once Poke Professor O gives you the National Dex, if you spoke to him again, he would actually give you an opportunity to get a Johto starter. And I figured since I have um, Bulbasaur as my grass starter for one of them, and Mudkip for the other, I figured I would go with Cyndaquil for this choice here. Now, personally, I would have chose Totodile, but because I have uh, Mudkip, I would have chose that instead. So, go figure. Now I've got all the type starters. Okay, so now we're going to run to level 22, because things are going to be a little bit tougher. Let's go ahead and have a look at the team that we are rocking out with today. So we've got ourselves Ariel the Melotic, uh, Water Pulse, Wrap, Water Spot, and Refresh. It finally has a water move, thank god. Then we have Sydney the Sand Dial, and I actually just noticed that Mudslap is actually more powerful than Sand Tomb in this generation. Yikes. We got our starter, Corsage the Ivysaur, Vine Whip, Razor Leaf, um, Leaf Seed, and Sleep Powder. Then we have some more members, more members. We got ourselves uh, Growlithe, uh, with Ember, Bite, Roar, and Leer. And we added this member to our team, it, it was a Mudkip, now it's a Mud Stomp. Uh, Tackle, Mud Shot, Mud Slap, and Water Gun. So, a pretty powerful Pokemon if I do so myself. And we have HM Slave here, because we do have a cut section. Okay, so we were just up at this, heading up this path here. And we see the Snorlax is over here. And this chick's gonna say, Hey you! Watch out for the Snorlax! They seem to have been asleep for a long time. They only wake up to the smell of food, and this Pokemon's favourite food is the honey sold in Inor City. I am the owner of the shop that sells honey in the city. Come back with me to buy some so you can awaken these slumbering Snorlax. Ugh, joy. So now we have to go all the way back down to Inor City to get some honey. Fantastic, I just love all these extra, extra things that we have to do here. Um, I guess while we're heading back to Inor City, a uh, question for today for you guys is um, Is there any old shows that you used to watch that you really enjoyed that you may have re-watched over the um, You know, re-watched recently? I'm guessing this is the Honey Shop here because um, that's all comies and stuff So let's go here. Honey? Hell yeah. Let's go about five of them bitches right there. Okay um, you know, are there any old shows you used to watch that you've rewatched? And I'll say that um, the other day, um, I've been watching Operation Repo recently, and yes, I know some people are going to say, yeah, it's fake! I don't care, I love Operation Repo. And, um, you know, if you if you don't think, if you think it's real, they have a thing at the start that tells you that it's it's all reenacted, you know, so... Um, I don't care, I watch things for certain reasons. If I watch to be entertained, if I'm entertained, then I'm getting what I want out of it. Um, so, yeah, that's just my bit. Oh, there's another shop up here. Okay, let's see what we have here. So, just notice the shop now. Welcome to High All Farms Milk Shop. <gasps> Moomoo Milk, yeah! Give me some of that Moomoo Milk, baby. I think five should be enough. I mean, we've got lots of super potions and all that. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to be individual Snorlax counters or it's going to be a double battle. So, first things first, let's go ahead and get our team ready to take on these Snorlaxes. I think Corsage is ready to go because it's got the Sleep Powder and it's got the Leak Seat so we can weaken it down. Which is great. So let's do it. Do you want to use the honey? Yes. Let's find out. Is this actually two encounters or one? Okay, this is actually two, two encounters. So it's a sn two Snorlaxes isolated. Okay. So because these are technically static encounters, basically what it is is that um, we can actually take on these two and actually go for anything here. So let's go for a Razor Leaf on this Snorlax here. Hopefully it's not going to do too much damage. That does jack shit, and it woke up after one turn. Oh no. It went for Belly Drum. Um, it went for Belly Drum. Uh, that's kind of bad. We have to try to catch the Snorlax. I don't know how we're going to go with max attack though. Good god. One, two, no. Oh my god. 
I don't even think we can try to catch it though. Like, should I try to catch? I'm gonna try to catch anyways. Mm, yes, we got the Snorlax. Woo! Damn, that was belly drum, dude. Fuck. Oh, okay. Snorlax, sleeping Pokemon. Snorlax's typical day consists of nothing more than eating and sleeping. It is such a docile Pokemon that there are children who use it its expansive belly as a place to play. Um, okay, so we got Snorlax. Great. Um, let's see. Nickname for Snorlax. I think I called it... Uh, what was the nickname I gave a Snorlax before? I know I had Snorlax before on the Let's Play, I'm just trying to remember what the name I gave it for. It was either Lunchables or, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna call it Lunchables. Actually, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Um... Pancake, that's what I called it. I remember, I used it in my Wi-Fi battle thing, and I called it Pancakes. You know what, that's exactly what I'm gonna call this, is, uh, Pancakes. Alright, so we got some pancakes and the Snorlax. Awesome. Now, does this mean we get two static encounters with this Snorlax? Use honey. Okay, so now this is interesting. Because technically there's no rules on static encounters. So, if we catch this Snorlax, we could possibly use this as a, a possible encounter token. Bear with me on this one. But first we'll see if we can try and catch it. Because for all I know, if this thing goes for Belly Drum, we might have a problem. Just like that, it goes for Billy Drum. Okay. Sleep powder, it misses. And it goes for Defense Curl. Um, yeah. Dude. Sleep powder. Fuck, dude. Is it worth the risk? Let me try and throw a ball Ultra Ball and see how we can go here. Nope, it just broke free after the first roll. Dude. Nah. I can't risk it. I can't risk it. I'm sorry. I, I would risk it, but you know what? It's, it's plus three. Uh, plus six, sorry, in attack. Plus two in uh, special attack, special defense. So basically everything's it's boosted. Then it's up in defense. Yeah, I, I really doubt we wouldn't catch that. So you know what? I'm happy to walk away from that and just catch the one Snorlax. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I mean, I wouldn't want to risk a Pokemon just for the sake of catching an additional Pokemon. Because what I wanted to do was, while I was training up off screen, um, I did headbutt some trees and actually found that you can actually get hair crosses from headbutt trees and I would have loved to go ahead and get myself a Heracross because I love Heracross so we have team 43 that's secret power okay so we don't really I mean we don't really need to really use that right now um let's go ahead and put marsh up out front I've been waiting here for hours let's for a train to pass let's fight didn't I hear a trainer last episode say that anyways we're here now Venipede is here okay so let's go for mud shot as it goes for protect. Oh, you bitch. Pursuit. I'm not going anywhere. And you get a crit pursuit. You gotta stop that, okay? You gotta stop that. And you get a speed drop. Nice. Now we're gonna go for a water gun. And that should be enough to take out this Venipede. With a crit to... P unnecessary crit to boot. Nice. Okay. Nice. And Marshall's level 23. As I got... Uh, I know Venipedes do give off a lot of experience. Alright, now we have ourselves a, uh, a Metapod. Let's go and bring an Aerial. Let's go for a Water Pulse. Look at that! Aerial using a Water Move for the first time in this entire series! Whoa! It's a Combi. A male Combi. Oh god, you have the cruelest of fates. To be cursed as a Combi forever. Fuck that bullshit. See, mag people make fun of Magikarp, but honestly, Combi is the worst. Combi is the absolute worst Pokémon. Now we have ourselves a Pineco. Okay, uh, Pineco, as long as you don't go for an explosion, I'm okay with you. Just, or we can just kill you. Either way, either way, we kill you either way. Nice. Okay. So, Ariel has vanquished. It's not always possible to win. I know it's because there are even stronger trains out there. Well, you are correct in saying that. That is, that is, uh, that is a true statement, if I ever heard one. Alright, let's go ahead and put Growlithe up front. Um, actually, hold on a second. I think Sydney might be able to evolve this episode. I'm not 100% sure, but something tells me that he can. It's a matter of actually leveling him up enough so he can evolve. I've seen many insects, but now I will beat you with the magnificent powers of my Pokemon. Okay, let's see here, Bucko. You have an Inkata. Ground Bug-type. 
and we get the Intimidate drop off. Nice. Okay, so the Mudslap is actually going to do more damage. Now, that's actually resistance, so I don't know why I did that. But we do get an Accuracy drop, so that's cool. Go for a Bite Attack. Whoa! We get the Flinch, though. Grr. That's how we do it with Sydney, boys! Well, girls, because Sydney's a girl. That's how we do it, girls! Boys! Another Ninkard is coming our way. Okay. As long as you don't have Exes at this level, which I'm pretty sure you don't. The only move I could think you would have at this point is maybe, um, maybe Fury Cutter? That's probably the only move I could think, but even then it's only base 10 power. So, like, it's not doing much, unless you get a few swings at it. And we have a Cricket Tune next. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and swap into Growlithe. So leave a comment down below and tell me some old shows you used to watch that you've either rewatched recently, or shows you're currently watching right now. Hey, where's the Dilly Dilly? Woo! You are such a disappointment. How the hell? Wesley, my boy, how are you going to do this? You're going to have the master of the Dilly Dilly Whoops have no Dilly Dilly Whoops. You just, like, silenced him. That's like Polywell's cry. What the fuck? Dude, how are you going to do this to us? Ninjask. Ah, here we go. Now we're packing some power right here. Leech Life, which in this generation is only base 20. So that ain't doing jack shit. That ain't doing shit, boy! You get the speed boost, that's fine. Sand attack, but don't matter. It don't matter. We still hit through that. Let's go. Another ninjas. Double ninjas, baby. Sand attack times two. And now we finally miss. He misses his fury swipes. Ha ha, you dumb bitch. Because that's what you get when you try to rely on bullshit strategies. That's what you get. So, bug catcher Juan is out of here. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so now we're going to swap around the teams again. Let's go ahead and put our core sergeant at front. Let's see here. Route 406 is a large swamp. Be careful. Many trainers have gotten lost in there. Okay, so we have a possibly new area to get an encounter, which I am not a... a bunch. Phantom Town. Okay. Oh. Wow, this music is nice and quaint. Fishing is an art that should always be taken very seriously. Okay. This door's locked. So another room that's locked here that we don't need. I've always liked electric Pokemon because they can be very fast and strong. Is that, um, Lu uh, Luna? Um, oh, it's Alana, not Lunik, that's the boy. Hello, Sharpina! I was waiting for you so that we could have our first battle. Get ready to face my mighty Baneri! Um, okay, sure. Solana is here. We talk on Lunik, and now we have. <gasps> you have Turtwig! Give me back my favorite starter, you motherfucker. Give me my starter! Okay, we're still doing any damage on a Turtwig, as it goes for Curse. Okay, that's fine, because Razor Leaf's special here, so I am A okay with that. Not okay with killing Turtwig, but okay with the fact. Okay, Nidoran, uh, let's go ahead and bring in uh, Sand Isle. Let's go for a Mud Slap. Get blinded! Super effective blinded! Do you get blinded though? <gasps> oh shit, you got double kick! But that ain't doing jack shit. Oh my god, I was freaking out. I was like, yo! What? Alright, now we have Beniri. Let's go ahead and bring in uh, my good old Ariel. Level 18, you're going to endure. Now Beniri, I don't understand why you would endure. I don't understand. On the first turn too, like, I don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Baneri endured the hit. I only to get killed by this rap. Like, I don't understand. Why did you do that? Why would you do that? I have no idea. What a victory. You are a really great trainer. Oh, well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, you sure know how to fight with style. I like that about you and hope to meet you again. So take a break for now and enjoy your visit in this village. Okay, Solana, cool. Thanks. Freaking gnats. Yeah, gotcha. Kill that gnat. Get out of here. Alright. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And let's skedaddle. Alright, so we have Starling Hopper Buildings, which is cute. Now, let's see what we have here. Many Vileplume live in the center of Botanical Research in Esmeralda City. It's a very beautiful place with many plants. Okay. Oh, yeah. Alright, so... Excuse me. I already spoke to you. Mini Volplane. Okay. Let's see what this people have to say. I like to watch Pokemon tournaments on TV. Um, if they were real, I'm sure I'll find a good trainer to battle someday. Hello, I'm right here. 
Like, <laughs> you're just like, yeah, I want to face a good trainer. Um, hello, I'm right here. And you're like, nope. Alright, let's go in this house over here. Let's see what we can find here. There are rumors that Team Steam is after legendary Pokemon. Ah, uh, that's not a rumor, that's a fact. Bug catching boils down to just how skilled your Pokemon is. It can be very complex. Uh, no, because bugs are like one of the easiest Pokemon to, you know, get around. Except maybe Volcarona. Okay, so... Route 406. Okay, so we can get Encounter inside these... Over here. Encounter for Route 406. Survey says... Wow, that's a Krogonk. That's actually a pretty great encounter, I've got to say. That's a pretty great encounter. Not going to lie, that's a pretty good encounter. Honestly, I can't fault that. I can't fault that at all. And it just woke up after the first turn. And now I can't use... Um, okay, let's go for Vine Whip. Uh, Vine Whip, bring it down to yellow. You know what? This should be enough to, to catch this Krogonk. I mean, it's a Krogonk. I mean, it's great. But an Ultra Ball and a Krogonk... I mean, yeah, we should be able to handle that. So let's see here. Uh, Krogonk, the toxic mouth Pokemon. Krogonk's... Krogonk's its cheeks. Okay, it's the actual proper, but it was very greatly misspelled. Okay. Um, let's see. Nickname for Krogonk. Uh... And it's female too. Okay, so that's... It's, it's also female. Um... Let's see, fighting, that's venomous, poison. I'm gonna go ahead and call it Devora. It's Devora the Krogonk. Nice, okay. So we got some Krogonk, I'm pretty happy with that. So we Krogonk Grimer, okay. Um, Krogonk's still better. And Krogonk's still better. Let's see what else we can get. Psyduck. Um, you know what? I think for the, the type diversity, I think Krogonk was definitely the best choice over here. We could have got a Wooper. Um, Krogonk seems to be the best choice in that area. So, not going to lie, that was pretty awesome. So, let's go ahead and check out our latest two encounters. So, we got Pancakes and Snorlax with a modest nature, which is actually pretty bad. Um, but, I mean, it's going to be an even hitter. So, I guess that's okay. So, it does have Tackle. So, Belly Drum... Did my god, what a moveset, Jesus. And it has immunity, not thick fat. So I guess it can't be poison, so I guess it's not a bad thing. And then we have uh, Devora the Krogonk with a relaxed nature, which is actually pretty bad. And it has Astonish, Poison Sting, Taunt, and Pursuit. So definitely some awesome Pokemon to have here. And I think at this point we can bring back um, Swellow, because now that we're kind of out of the wilderness where we need to use cut. I mean, I hope. Because, uh, you know, we've got our two... Oh, Elekid. Oh. We'll put back back to this box here. Okay. So welcome back, Swallow. You're back in the crew, but now we're going to take on some trainers. Finally, someone came to the swamp. I'll challenge you to battle. Oh, I like the, the tree balls. Okay. Shroomish. Alright, let's go ahead and bring in... Okay, the problem is here that we're going to have is that because of the... Um, because of the rain, all my damage is going to be hard with Ember, which is going to stink to some extent. And I'm getting destroyed here by Shroomish. What the hell is going on here? I am not dealing with this. I am not dealing with this. Full restore this bitch. You are not going to do this to me. No, 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 no. Get out of here with that bullshit. Gloom is next. You know what? We're going to bring in Red Arrow. I, I can't deal with this. I cannot deal with Stolly Tactics. Krogonk. Uh, you could have... Well, we just saw its move... Oh, wait, hang on. We'll just go for... We'll just go for Red Arrow, because it's just the safest option to have. I mean, let's be real here, that's probably the way to go. But the fact that Streamish was doing an annoying freaking stall tactic with Stun Spore and Leak Seed, it's like, dude, get the hell out of here with that bullshit. I will not tolerate that bullshiz. 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 Okay. And we found another Ultra Ball. Brilliant. Absolutely love it. Oh, on this route, Krogonk are frequently sighted because they love the constant rainfall here. Well, of course, they have dry skin, but for some reason I didn't get that one. I got a Hypercutter one. Which is kind of stupid, because why would you want Hypercutter? Everyone likes a good Pokemon battle. Let's fight! 
and you got all these weird Pokeballs here now. Alright, so Cool Sides is here. Okay. This thing's gonna go for, like, uh, uh... I don't wanna keep running to Red Arrow, but unfortunately I'm gonna have to because this bitch is gonna set up Stunt Ball. Oh look, I got Effects Board. Look at that. Look at that. I got Effects Board, Krogong is gonna come out, and we're gonna have to try to get rid of that too. There we go. And even if I was to uh, swap out, I would've got Pursuited, so it really made no difference. This is a bug man, aren't you? Psyduck. I'll give you a valuable item so that your Pokemon can gain experience faster. <gasps> wow, dude! The Lucky Egg will be very useful for training for your Pokemon. When your Pokemon is equipped with this item, it'll gain more experience and get stronger more quickly. Hot damn! Well, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. We have an Ether. Wow, we just got a lucky egg? Yo, that is awesome. Thank you very much, my dude. It's not uncommon to see Magikarp in these wetlands. Really? Uh-oh. Incoming! Diamond? It's been a while. I was... Uh, here, let me see, give it another voice. Oh, I've got the same voice. Let's see. Uh, 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 um, um. It's been a while. I was lost in the swamp running around in circles. And I end up here. There are many strong Pokemon though, and I trained a lot. I'll show you! Okay, so it looks like we're taking on, I think, Diamond again? Ghastly! Okay! Uh, hi! You trying to spite me, dude? Uh, Lee Steve, dude. Alright, let's go ahead and bring in Ariel. Still asleep, and rain is falling, which means we're gonna just blow everything away! Alakid. Okay, let's go ahead and bring in, uh, Sydney. Let's go for a mudslap. Goes for light screen. Well, doesn't that bring back flashbacks from the last episode, huh? That looks that that's freaking bring bring flashbacks here. God damn. Ah, <laughs> oh, you bitch, you're making me think about when, you know, my Elika died after the light screen fell. Thank you, Diamond, for making me think about that. Fucking hell. <laughs> uh wants to bring in in Eevee. Ooh, Eevee, hello. You're so adorable! You're so adorable! Look at that thing! Look at that face! How could you not like that face? Why did that do so little Oh, your light screen's still up, that's why. I just remembered. Light screen's still up, that's why it didn't do that much damage. Okay! Tail whip, and it misses! Ha <laughs> ha! And it continues to fall. And it looks like the light screen's still up. So we can just keep trying to reduce Eevee's accuracy here. Oh no, you got the attack drop. And now the light screen has wore off. So now the bite's are gonna do hella damage. There we go. Bite, 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 bite it up. Snack her up. Tranquil. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and bring in. You know, let's bring in Marshop. I think Marshop would be a good uh, opponent for this Tranquil. Level 21. Okay, these levels are starting to get up there. And this is exactly why I um, thought level 22 was an appropriate level in the last episode. And this is why. And thanks to the rain, my water guns are doing hella damage. And Tranquil is down. Nice job, Marshtom. Mm -mm. What a beautiful victory. You're a great trainer. Thanks, Lyman. I appreciate it. Well, you seem to have the same amount of badges that I do. Let's go to the second gym soon. Well... I was going over there before you rudely got in the way. Is everyone okay? Yep, everyone's okay. Good, good, good. Battling is a true work of art. Get ready to lose. And this guy just has to try to shit on shit on me. Oh no, it's a Breloom. Alright, let's go for a wing attack. Absorb. You stupid dumb biatch. Bloom. Uh, I don't know why I have to keep Roselli out. Yeah, you're gonna get... Uh, wing attack as well. Get out of here. Get out of here. Red arrow, man. Seriously. Swellow. God damn. Swellow. Super potion. The problem is I don't have any other Pokemon that can really help me here. Like, I could use, um, my Growlithe, but unfortunately it's not strong enough to handle the business. Many trainers are afraid of this place because of its Pokemon. By the way, let's have a battle. Cricketune. Deli, 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 whoop. Deli, 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 whoop. And that is done. I uh, did not see that. Krogonk! Okay, uh, let's go for a sleep powder. We're gonna take this out 
pace by pace, little by little, because that's how we do things with Corsair. Sand Slash! <laughs> Whoa! Level 28? What? And that, whatever move he just went for, did... Um... No! Slash! What in... What?! I have speed, right? No, he has speed. Thank... Oh my god! Why is there a level 28 Sand Slash over here? What the fuck? That level progression was a bit too quickly. Hello? Fucking hell. Why? What is this? Oh. Jesus, dude. What the hell? How the hell are you going to sit there and say like, Oh yeah, that's okay. No, it's not okay. Okay? That's not okay. That ain't okay. By anyone's standards, that is not okay. Alright, let's go ahead and put this around here. Let's put it up front. I'll show you the result of my Pokemon Special Training. Alright, let's see this Pokemon Special Training when you have a Nidorina. Okay, well in the rain, Water Pulse, we are going to do hella damage to you. So let's do this. You want to throw down? Let's do this. Water Pulse in the rain, it actually survived. And Nidorina becomes confused. Does it hit with confusion? FTW. <laughs> it does! <laughs> Oh, you're gonna love those moments. It sucks when it's you, but it's funny when it happens to someone else. Okay, next up we have uh, Rosalia. Um, let's go ahead and bring in Red Arrow. I can't believe we had a level 28 fucking Sand Slash. Like, hello? Where the hell did you drop out of? Red Arrow wants to learn Endeavor. No, we're not gonna learn Endeavor. Skip Loom. Um, we'll stay in. I would use someone else, but honestly, on our team, we have no one that could really handle this. And why am I getting paralyzed all of a sudden? What the hell is going on here? And Skip Loom has been taken down. Thank God. Okay. Uh, super Potion. Let's get that Super Potion on the Red Arrow. Okay. So we have a Headbutt Tree there. What is up here that has... Oh, it's an item. A dive ball. Ah. That can help in your fishing, I suppose. Oh, yeah. I spoke to this person before. Okay. So, wait. Can we actually fish here, though? Because, like, to find Magikarps, like, what? Hang on. Let's try this out. Can we actually... No, we can't. Okay. Well, why the hell is someone saying we can find Magikarps here? Esmeralda City. And there's fires. Oh boy, that is not good. I see fires. Ah. <laughs> Team Steam has done a great job taking control of the city. Sheila just told me that she found the blue orb and red orb in Esmeralda's bo botanical laboratory. Let's go there now. We can leave this place to burn. Great news, let's go now. It's time for the real leaders of Team Steam to get their hands dirty. Oh boy, um, that is not good. Look at these trees on fire. That's not cool. Trees do not deserve to be on fire. That's Pokemon's homes. That's their homes. I'm Ash from Pallet Town. Hello, Sharpino. I'm glad you're here. The city has been attacked by a ton of Team Steam members, and there are too many for Red and I to handle alone. We could use your help. The gym leader and professor of the city is trapped in their botanical lab. Red and I will take care of the Team Steam members outside if you're dealing with the ones at the Botanical Lab. That's a good plan. Lots of Team Steam is out there, but I'll tangle with them all. Sharpino, the only people that can enter the Botanical Lab are Team Steam personnel. I'll give you a Team Steam uniform so that you can get in there without problems. Cool. Thanks. Great, Sharpino. Now you just have to use this Team Steam uniform to enter the Botanical Lab. Good luck. Ren and I will finish off the team, the steam members that are still outside. But first, I'll stop this fire. Go, Gyarados. Yo, Gyarados. Gyarados, use rain dance. Now I've stopped the fires that were threatening Esmeralda. <laughs>
And sorry about that, um, the mic just cut out all of a sudden, I was just like, wait, what the fuck's happening? Great, Red! Let's battle the Team Steam members now! Good luck, Sharpino! Well, there's the, uh, there's the Pikachu for Ash, so, you know, that's cool. Alright, so, let's just go to a Pokemon Center and call this a day, because I think we're just about done over here. So, quickly go heal up, and uh, that will be us for today's episode. So, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you look button down below, because as always, the support is great. Appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Pokemon Light Platinum Nuzlocke, where we have to stop Team Steam from taking over Esmeralda City. So we're going to take care of some business in this business. So, until next time I see you guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later!